Ooh. What's up, Bob? Meaty clip. Bob Cheapskate here. Coming at you with the last tag video. It's the cassette tag by Jason Skills. Uh, so, fitting, I thought I'd put some cassettes on in the background. Uh, what we're listening to is Psychic Void. And when the Psychic Void stuff's over, I'm going to put on the All Shock. So, that's the stuff we'll be listening to on cassette once we're done. Uh, so, this will be my last tag for the year. I'm exhausted with these tags. I think this is the fourth one I'm doing. So, let's get rolling. So, cassette tag, it's 20 questions, 21, there's a bonus. But uh, I'm going to start with a tape from 2022. So first up, tape from 2022. We're going to do the new Nightfell tape. This was released this year, early on in this year. Uh, picked it up because I really am digging Nightfall. And they only put out the tape, so I pre-ordered the tape and grabbed that. Uh, great band. Todd from Tragedy and uh, I forget the other guy's name, but he's from the band Wear Goat, I think, uh, which is like a kind of like a war metal band, but good stuff, both from Portland. Excellent stuff. I'm gonna scoot because my tapes are all set up right here. Uh, next, punk or new wave tape. I went with this uh, copy of the Kids. Uh, great 70s punk stuff. Excellent. This was released, uh, re-released earlier this year, I think. This is on, this one's on, was it Burger Records? I don't know. This is on Burger Records. Nice clear tape shell. Good stuff. This was really good. Uh, Troy Borman sent this to me in the mail, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Troy. Uh... Metal or hard rock tape. This is my bread and butter right here. Uh, but I picked one that's kind of like a metal and hard rock tape. Uh, Pagan Altar. The Room of Shadows. Uh, this is one of their newer ones. Uh, it was put out in like 2018, I think. It says on here, where does it say? 2017. This was put out in 2017 before uh, the because this was a father and son playing on this uh, before the dad passed away. They put out this tape. Uh, really good, kind of like Sabbath-y, um, sabbath -y style heavy metal stuff. Uh, new Wave of British Heavy Metal. They were a New Wave of British Heavy Metal band, but I don't think they put anything out or released anything till later. Uh, but great stuff. Uh, Pagan Altar. Excellent doomy metal stuff. Still sealed. Now this one isn't really sealed, but I never, I haven't opened it. Uh, it didn't come sealed, so. But it's a brand new tape. Haven't listened to it. Haven't played it yet. Uh, but plan on it. Flex. They're like a hardcore punk band. Uh, cool stuff. And I'm not 100% sure. I heard people talk about this band being good. So I and I found this tape for real cheap. So I picked it up to check them out. And I haven't even played it yet. But I will. Flex. This is like a promo tape, I believe. Uh, most experimental tape. I don't know if this is my most experimental tape, but I decided to shout out my buddies from Cyanide. Uh, this is a New Jersey project. It's kind of like an avant-garde black metal thing. Uh, they really do just kind of get together, jam, record it, and that's what they put on tape. And this was their first tape release. Uh, it doesn't say on the side, but there's the logo and everything. And cyanide. He hand, he hand uh, drew on it and everything. And he sent me this awesome print. It's pretty weird, so I'll show it. He sent me a giant print with this too, which is pretty sweet. And all the artwork's done by my old buddy Joe from Joe Hart. Uh, he's a buddy from high school. I've known him forever. I was in band with him. Stuff like that. So, full support for his projects, you know. You gotta support the homies, especially when I've known them for 20 plus years. Uh, but yeah. Check this out if you get a chance. Messianide. Let's go with an 80s tape. And I picked this Human League Crash 
Uh, I'm not super familiar with the Human League, but I know they're an 80s band. And I pulled this because I was like, well, all my other ones are going to be punk, hardcore, and metal. So I might as well pull one that's not for the 80s tape. Because I have a, uh, I got this actually in a lot of tapes, but it had a bunch of 80s metal, like 80s hair metal stuff, which is why I grabbed it. It had like Cinderella and Rat. A bunch of cool ones. It had actually also had Painkiller by Judas Priest on it and a copy of uh, Injustice for All with no no J card, but still pretty cool. Human League Crash. A hip hop tape. I actually don't have any hip hop tapes. I've only I'm limited on the amount of tapes that I have, but I did pull one of my CDs that's a hip hop CD. And I just got this and I got it for free. Picked up Heavy D and the Boys big time. So some early hip hop stuff, 80s stuff, Heavy D and the Boys. So yeah, pulled the CD for that one. Didn't have any, I, I really don't have any hip hop tapes or soul tapes. Uh, Tape I have on vinyl as well, and that one was this Blood Pressure EP, which was also a gift. A friend of mine sent this, a friend of mine from Instagram sent this to me, uh, just because he said he had a copy and he doesn't have a tape player, so he's like, do you want this? I was like, yeah man, I'll take it. And great, great stuff. Uh, completely blank tape though I might have to write on that just so I could tell which sides which maybe but yeah blood pressure and then I picked up the CD from celebrated summer not too long ago so pretty sick I gotta flip that tape All right, so what's next? So where did I leave off? I left off that uh, tape on vinyl as well. Vinyl or CD, they said, or tape or whatever. Uh, tape and vinyl or tape and CD. Uh, next up, my most expensive tape. I'm just going to go with this. It's kind of cheating, but this Serif Ungle box set is probably my most expensive tape purchase I've ever made. And most expensive tape, if I were to sell it, I'd probably make the most money off of it. But it's all four Sarah Thungle albums and a live set. Pretty sick. Comes with like a poster and stuff. But that's what I'm showing for this. Sarah Thungle box set. Um, techno or electronic tape. We're going to go with... go with this one. Uh, this is actually my sister-in-law's music. Uh, she runs a tape label. Uh, she was in Berlin, Germany named Sierra Black Pendulum, but she's a techno musician and this is her tape. So, pretty sick. So, I went with that one. And I also got a bunch of these. Let's see if we can find it. This should be with it. Uh, I also got a bunch of these from Jay, from uh, Jason Skills. He sends me sends me his releases uh, sometimes with his VCLTs, which is pretty sweet. Excited to get these too whenever they come. Uh, I don't have a ton of techno, but most of my techno is from Jason, actually. So stuff like this, like techno and electronic. But this is cool, kind of like ambient-ish kind of stuff. This was this was a cool one. This was one I really liked. Orchids without bodies. EP. So it's like kind of, yeah, it says Experimental Industrial IDM. So this was pretty cool. I liked this one. But yeah, good stuff. Bought it a show. Uh, I'm going to go with this Population Zero. Tape Become Death. Uh, Population Zero is a band from Philadelphia. Uh, friends of mine are in it were in it. I don't know if they're still together or not, but friends of mine played in this band. And I went to New Jersey or I went to Philly for a festival and they were playing 
they had a bunch of their tapes there, so I grabbed a couple tapes from the uh, Suicide Bomb Tapes label, which is a Philly-based label, local Philly label, that puts out mostly tapes from local bands. Uh, and this was one of them that I picked up that night at that uh, Population Zero show. So, pretty sweet. Good stuff. It's like kind of like a crossover -y, like thrashy punk hardcore stuff, but really, really good, well done, dark, fun stuff. Really enjoyed this tape. I haven't listened to this in a long time. I may listen to this later tonight. Well, I'm running out of space down there. Uh, tape with a colored shell. I'm gonna go with this. Hypocrisy Penarillia on a blue tape shell. Clear blue, pretty sweet. This was a cool one. Uh, plus it's a great, great album. Uh, I don't know if this is an official release or not. It's on Floga Records, which I might look up Floga Records and see if it's a legit tape company or if they just do like really nice, because this, this would be a really nice food like if they didn't do the food like. But good stuff. Or if it's just a tape label that does reissues, maybe official reissues. I have no idea. But that that's Floga Records. Uh, tape from another country. Uh, these are two bands that are from other countries. And I also ordered these tapes from a Malaysian label. So that's the uh, Attack EP by Moro. Uh, Moro's Colombian hardcore band really good harsh really fast uh kind of like has like an american hardcore sound a little bit but very good and raw really good stuff really fast uh but great stuff attack hardcore by moro and this band crawler they're like a kind of like a garagey psychedelic punk band from I think they're all I think these guys are actually Malaysian yeah I think this is one of the bands that are like a Malaysian band that's on that label uh, crawler from Malaysia great stuff and both of these were on what the heck, were on pissed off records which was a Malaysian tape label that released a bunch of stuff and then I bought these before COVID, and then during COVID, they stopped mailing to the U.S., and they haven't been able to mail to the U.S. since, so really really a bummer. That was a great label, and they had all their tapes were pretty cheap and well-priced, and the shipping wasn't that bad, which may have changed at this point. I have no idea. Will I buy more tapes in 2023? Yeah, probably. I don't see why not. Most likely I will. I like tapes. Uh, I enjoy collecting tapes. They're fun. They're portable. Fun to listen to. It's a fun format to collect for. I like the way that I like the way that the uh, the tape. You know, I like the way the tape uh, tape racks look and everything. And I got about three more tape racks that are empty. So why wouldn't I keep collecting tapes? Plus, they're the cheapest way to go if you just want to buy something and you don't have a lot of cash. Tapes are dirt cheap. What do I play tapes on? Uh, there's a few things I play tapes on. Uh, right now, I'm playing this on my main stereo, which is on the other side of the room. So I could pause it and walk it over there, but it's in a dark corner. And you won't really be able to see anything. But what I will show This is my boombox that I carry around with me upstairs if uh, I just want to listen to tape somewhere that's not in the basement. Uh, I bring my trusty boombox, which was from room 12215 of Franklin Square Elementary School, elementary and middle school. Uh, this was a thrift store buy, buy. and it also has a CD player on top. And the CD player still had the paper thing in it, so it's a brand new CD player. So I don't know how much use this thing got, but it sounds good to me. It works. And I got something cool to put all my uh, crazy punk rock stickers on. And heavy metal stickers. There you go. Pissed off records. But yeah. 
cool little boom box that I got. Uh, it's Californ, I think is the name of it, or Californian, Californ uh, boom box. So, old elementary school boom box, covered in stickers picked up from the thrift store. Uh, mixtape or blank tape. Uh, I do a mixtape exchange on Instagram, so I'm just going to show one of the tapes I got from somebody in the exchange, and it was called Power Thrash and Mad. Uh, it says uh, 20 tracks of powerful thrash insanity, and this is a, this was cool because like everybody makes their own like J cards and everything. And they pull out, they have all the lyrics on it, there's nothing wrong with that. But still, it's cool, and they look good on a shelf with all the printed stuff on there. Uh, this has Hellstar, Realm, Annihilator, Exciter, Damien Thorne, Laz Rocket, Steeler, Overkill, Accept, Blind Illusion, Rage, Liege Lord, Hollow's Eve, Anthem, Nasty Savage, Coroner, Watchtower, Metal Church, Omen, and Defiance. So it's all 80s thrash metal stuff. But this is a sick tape. Super excited to have this in my uh, have this in my mixtape collection. I've got like a little mixtape collection. Maybe I'll do a video on those. Uh, but I get new ones every month. So I uh, probably got about 15 of them or so. So that would be a fun video to do. Just show off all the mixtapes. Maybe I'll do that. Let me know. Let me know if you think that's a good idea or not. Anyway, power thrash and mad. Uh, the tape I'd like on vinyl. What did I pick for that? Oh. I want all the NFC on tape on on vinyl. So I picked this one because I don't have it. NFC Madness and Overkill. And this is another one. It's on a cut another colored shell, some orange shell, uh, but yeah, Madness and Overkill, great record by this band, uh, is this the one that has extra stuff on it, no, this just has the Madness and Overkill EP on it, but yeah, really well done, I don't think this is official, but it is a really well done tape, it may be official, it's on Chainsaw Distro, but yeah, NFC is one of my favorite bands. Great stuff. Really would like to have that on on vinyl sometime. Uh, VHS or eight track? I forgot to grab a VHS. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, VHS. Uh, I just pulled one that I found on top. I don't collect VHS. I used to when I was younger. Uh, these were just a random thrift store find. I found a stack of VHSs from the thrift store, and this is just one of them that I found. Uh, it's a copy of Demon Wind, uh, old 80s. Oh, this is from 1990, so old 90s horror movie, early 90s. Uh, I haven't even watched this because I don't have a VHS player. That's why I don't collect VHS. I wouldn't mind collecting VHS, but it's just another rabbit hole of things to collect that I don't need another reason to spend money so but i found all those i found like 10 of them at a 10 like weird horror movie things at a thrift store for like a dollar so i picked them all up uh so i figured why not i'm not even gonna bother putting another tape on because we're almost done anyway so next is second third or 23rd cassette went with 23rd cassette and the way I did this is my tapes are in order, like from here to there. So I just went from the top, counted through all my cassettes and made it through all my uh, my mixed tapes and dubbed tapes and then made it to the actual tapes. And ACDC, Razor's Edge was the 23rd one. This is another one that was in that uh, group of tapes that I picked up with the Human League. But I like ACDC, so I was okay with having this but acdc razor's edge cool stuff and a double cassette or box set this is a double cassette box set coolo uh great hardcore band from the 
mid 2000s uh went on to become tarantula which went on to become man eaters which are excellent as well different this these guys are more like straightforward hardcore punk uh really no 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 real frills just short angry fast songs uh always have great artwork on their stuff which i think helps them help them to become as popular as they were uh, there's a big poster of this somewhere, but it doesn't fit in this box, so I put it in one of the Kulu 7 inches. So we won't see that, but Kulu, they each came in their own uh, individual little tapes with J cards and artwork and everything. So I'm holding that upside down. So yeah, Kulu, great band. Uh, here's a picture of the guys, and one of the, I think the drummer passed away, and that's when they uh, kind of stopped doing this band and started doing the other band. Uh, but great band nonetheless. I actually got to see Tarantula live, and they were great. And this is also another one that's on Pissed Off Records, that Malaysian tape label, which now is, it's not defunct. They just don't send to the U.S. anymore. So if you look them up on Bandcamp, you can find all their stuff to listen to, but you can't buy their tapes because they won't sell to the United States anymore. But yeah, Kulu. What is this called? It's called Smashes, Thrashes, and Hits. It's a discography, double cassette discography of Kulu's stuff. And last bonus, Kasingle. It's the only Kasingle I have. Bought it at the thrift store many, many years ago. Uh, Iggy Pop's Candy. Not the best Iggy Pop stuff, not the worst. But still, pretty cool to have. It's actually got... It's actually got a... Well, it's only got two songs. It says Complete Program Appears on both sides. So it's the same two songs on both sides. Cool stuff. Iggy Pop candy. And that's it. Set tag is done. Uh, back to our regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but we'll have a dr Friday drink of music tomorrow, one way or another. And I hope everybody enjoys the rest of their Thursday night. Cheers. <laughs>